Hey friends, it's Allie of Fully Fit by Allie, and this is Fully Grounded. Welcome. Um, I myself am experiencing a little bit of back pain today, so after our meditation we're going to get into some stretches and strengthening exercises that can help with back pain. Um, to help me and to help you, hopefully. <laughs> so let's begin with our meditation. We'll start in a comfortable seat either leaning against something if that's comfortable, lying flat on your back, or just sitting cross-legged. Nice tall spine. Let's come to eyes closed together. You'll notice I, I sometimes like to do my hands like this, my, my left or my feminine side up, that's the receiving side, and my right hand or the masculine side down, the giving side. So often I'll meditate this way. You can try it if it feels good to you. If not, it's all good. So we're eyes closed, beginning with a nice deep inhale through the nose, expanding the rib cage 360 degrees. Ah, letting it out with a sigh. A lot of times we forget that our lungs live as much in our back as they do in our front, so really feel the back expand as you're inhaling. And with each exhale, letting go of a little more tension in the body. Hmm. Nice and slow breaths, releasing the shoulders, letting the muscles of the face come to a calm place, relaxing that third eye spot where sometimes you can scrunch your eyebrows up, let that go, unclench your jaw, let the tongue fall away from the roof of the mouth. I want you to picture yourself as an infant. Just picture how small and innocent you were. There were no expectations for you. Just to breathe and be was all that you had to do to be good. And through life, our society and our culture teaches us that we have to impress and achieve things to be good but that is unfortunately not the case. We, we learn that we need to earn our worthiness, but it's really not true. We are always just as good as we were on that first day we were born, and it's false stories that tell us otherwise. So just think about that as you're sitting in this meditation. You are just as good as you were the first day you were born without needing to do anything, just breathe and be still. I'll leave you with a few moments of silence. We can breathe together, sit in that goodness that lives in all of us. friends, let's come back to eyes open, entering back into our outer world. Hmm, I hope you're feeling good. So we'll join up in a cross-legged position. And we'll start with a little bit more breathing, just getting the spine into it. So we're going to take that big inhale, pulling back on the knees, pushing your chest forward, maybe tipping the head back slightly. As you exhale, rounding out chin to chest. I've got a little bit limited range of motion today, so I won't look like I do in my other videos, but that is okay. We deal with what we're given, learn how to work with it, and work through it. 
We're just continuing with those inhales and exhales, rounding the spine on your exhale. Extending through the spine as you inhale, lifting the chin, opening the chest. One more round there, big inhale and exhale. Okay, let's come back to a neutral spine. We'll twist over to the left, right hand on the left knee, looking over the left shoulder. And you can keep your left hand behind you for support, sitting that spine nice and tall. And let's take it the other direction, twisting over the right knee. Got a little less room here. That's all good. We'll be gentle with our bodies today and every day. Two more breaths here. Excellent. When you're done, we're just going to switch the legs, switch which one's in front, and take another twist over to the left. You have the right hand on the outside of the left knee. And my left hand's behind me for support, sitting up tall. Hmm those deep breaths going. Good, we'll switch sides here. Getting a slight twist. <sighs> and back to center from here. Let's meet up on our backs. You can come all the way down to the mat. I'm going to have you start with your knees in towards the chest, just hugging them in with the arms. If it feels good to take a rock side to side, you can do that. I really feel the width of your back along the floor. Good. Let's release the left leg, hugging the right knee in. Good. From there, taking that right knee across the body towards your left side. We'll open up the right arm on the floor, looking over the right shoulder. Again, just being gentle. We're not exactly warmed up here, so just taking this slowly. Don't push anything too hard. Just being very kind to ourselves. And the more we breathe into this shape, the easier it'll be to let go of tension. You'll feel your muscles slowly start to adjust. And we'll take that knee back in, trade it out for the other one. So extending the right, bringing that left knee in, hugging it towards your chest. If this is a little uncomfortable, you can always take that outside the rib cage, just moving the knee more towards the armpit rather than straight towards your chest. Might feel a little bit more comfortable. And we'll take this across the body towards our right side, opening the left arm, looking over that shoulder. I'm going nice and slow here, just making sure I'm not putting too much pressure in any funky spots in my back. You might notice that one side you're able to get your knee towards the ground more than the other. Totally normal. We're all very asymmetrical. And that's just how it is. Human bodies are not made to be symmetrical. I'll take one more breath here. Good. Come back to center. We'll take both feet to the floor. Just about as wide as your mat. So wider than the hips. Arms can come out to the sides. We'll take knees to one direction, head rolls the opposite way. On your own breath, just switch to the other side. You take an inhale and an exhale, switch sides. Uh, just opening the hips a little bit. 
massaging the low back as we go. And we'll do that last one there. Good. From here, hands flat to the ground. I always like to get my core activated if I want to work on my back, just because if we're not active through the core, we'll start to put too much pressure and strain on our back. So we got to make sure the core is active. We'll start with the feet off the ground, and you're just holding knees right above the hips. So notice that my knees are not past my hips. When they're right about hip height, or a little farther out, that's where you'll start to feel the core really working there. So I can feel mine working. Hopefully you can too. From there, just extending the left leg and then we'll switch. Taking the left in, right goes out. And just taking it nice and slow. Be patient. Keep breathing. Doing great, guys. Keep that breath with you. We'll do one more here. Good. Feet flat to the floor. Really, really nice. From here, taking a little roll up to bridge, just being careful to do one vertebra at a time on the way up, as well as the way down. Just keeping all your toes glued to the floor, pressing through the heels. Get that little tuck of the pelvis as you're coming up and as you're rolling down. Four more here, just doing a light little set. There's three, and down. Two. And one. Excellent, let's roll to the side. We'll come on up to seated. And then come all the way up to standing. I've got my screen a little bit higher today, so you can see the top of my head. You probably won't catch my, my hands, but that's okay. So just starting with a little forward fold, we'll cross one leg over the other. Just be really gentle, tuck the chin, roll all the way down. This gets into the hips a little bit, as well as releasing some space in the low back. Hmm, keep those breaths with you, nice and deep, in and out. Hmm. This one feels great for me today. Let's bend the knees, we'll take a nice slow roll up. Head is the last thing to arrive. And then we'll switch the feet, other foot crosses in front, tucking the chin, rolling all the way down. And again, you might notice one side feels different, totally normal. Sometimes one hamstring's a little tighter than the other, or a hip is a little bit out of place. It's all okay. Hmm. Just relax the neck here, totally let go of your head. We hold our heads up all day long, it's good to let them go. Let's bend those knees nice and slow, roll up. Good, we'll uncross the feet. Awesome job, guys. So this is a spinal matrix we're gonna get into, something I learned from one of my mentors. And let's get into it. So taking feet just underneath the hips, knees stay soft, and this is our litmus test to see from the beginning and the end how our spine movement has changed if we have any more mobility range of motion which hopefully for me today I can find so I can have a little relief from the pain I'm feeling so keeping the knees soft we'll do a little twist side to side palms stay up and just take into account how much to each side you're able to twist sometimes you'll be able to twist way farther to one side than the other all pretty normal stuff. Good, I'll take the feet just a tiny bit wider. And this time we go laterally, side to side, arm comes overhead, and you're letting the hips shift with you. So notice how I'm not keeping my legs totally still, I'm letting my hips shift. 
sort of like a raggedy and movement here. It almost looks like something you would teach a little kid, but it's good for you too, adult. <laughs> We'll stop there and then going into flexion extension. So with our extension, we're reaching all the way up. A slight arch in the back might happen naturally as you exhale, falling forward and coming back up. So the arms swing you back up to standing. We'll do that three more times, falling forward and all the way up. And one more here. Good. Let's come back to facing front and we'll get into our extension of the spine. Feet are right underneath you. We'll take the hands out wide. The point of this is all to move very slowly and intentionally with, with lots of tension. That's what helps keep the spine stable and strong. So all of this is going to feel a little tedious, but we're going to do it together. I'm doing it right alongside you. So fingers are spread wide and we're going to start to raise them slowly up overhead. Apologies, my space isn't bigger. I can't get the screen far enough away to see my hands, but you get the gist. So once those arms are fully extended, take the gaze up towards the fingertips and you'll start to lift the rib cage off of the pelvis. Obviously, you're not going to move too, too far, but that's the intention we're going with here. Just keeping those fingers spread really, really wide. And keep breathing. I know the arms will start to get tired at some point. Just stick with it. You're doing awesome. Ah, I'm already feeling a little bit of relief here of my thoracic spine. Getting that tall reach is something we don't do too, too often during our day. So it's really nice to do this every once in a while if you sit at a desk. Nice movements to practice. Just got a few more seconds here. Keep reaching through the fingertips. The first thing we'll drop is the rib cage. So shoulders away from the ears, ribs come down. Then we put the bend in the elbows, slowly start to drop the arms. Good. All the way down. And we'll shake out the shoulders a little bit. Great work. I'm going to turn to the side to show you this shape because we're getting into our flexion of the spine. So the ending shape, we'll get into it nice and slow, but the ending shape will look something like this. We're not bending at the hips here. We're really getting as much rounding through the back as we can, upper, middle, and lower back. So we're not coming all the way down like this. We're really keeping the knees bent and getting the tailbone tucked under us as much as we can as we drop the head forward. So we'll get into that nice and slow, fingertips reaching out to the floor. And then we're going to reach them a little bit back towards the heels as you start to drop the chin to the chest. Very, very slowly getting into this, keeping the knees soft the whole time. Again, not bending at the hips. We're not hinging. We're just curling forward, almost like you're trying to round your spine so that your forehead could touch your pubic bone. I guess if we didn't have rib cages, that might be possible, but there's lots of stuff in the way. So we're sinking down nice and slow, feeling that rounding through the upper, middle, and lower back. Again, I know it's tedious. It's very slow-moving stuff, but so great for your spine. Reaching those fingertips as far as you can towards the heels without bending forward. Hmm. Looking great, guys. Keep that chin to the chest the whole time, looking at the belly button. Good. Keep the arms reaching towards the heels. Slowly stand on up. Good. And we'll face back to center when you're ready. Awesome. So that was our full action extension. We'll get into a little bit of lateral flexion here. So taking the feet out just a tiny bit wider than the hips is what I like to do. It's more comfortable for me. So we're going to take that right hand out, palm forward, left hands down, palm forward, and we'll start to reach in opposition. So reaching that right hand up towards the ceiling, 
and these fingertips on the left are reaching down. Again, sorry, my hand disappeared out of the screen. That's okay, you get the idea. Nice deep breath. So I'm completely upright here, reaching in opposition. Once you get to that fully extended spot through the arms, we're gonna shift the hips over to the right. So you're pressing that hip out, then take a bend into that right knee. So we're just bending this knee here. Then we're gonna take the heel of the left foot off the floor. So you're sort of almost balancing into that right foot. And you can continue that reach. So we're really getting some good space in the right rib cage there. Letting the head fall to the side. Oh, this feels great. I know it's getting a little tiring holding the arms up, but we're doing good. <sighs> Keep that breath with you. Hmm, good. Keep reaching in opposition. Let's drop that left heel. We'll take the bend out of the right knee, hips come back to center, head comes up, and slowly drop that right arm all the way down. Nice, other way. So now we take the left fingertips reaching up, right hand reaches down towards the ground. Take your time getting to that fully extended position. Then we shift the hips over to the left. We'll bend the left knee and then come up to the ball of the right toes, dropping the head over towards the right. This side's a little harder for me today. You can see what it feels like in your body. Maybe this is your easier side, who knows? Ah, oh, good, just bending into that knee, feeling all the space in the left rib cage there. Awesome, guys. Let's drop that right heel. Take the bend out of the left knee. Head comes back up. And we'll slowly drop that left arm. Excellent. Take a little shake of the body. Wiggle it all out. That was fantastic. We'll come into our rotations now. So just facing yourself this way, I'm going to be mirroring you. Um, so whatever I am doing, you're doing the opposite. So you will take your right arm out in front and right above where the elbow joint is, we're just gonna take that left hand and grab the top of the tricep there. And from here, pulling the shoulders forward so you're rounded through the upper back and bending the knees. This is gonna keep our spine safe. So the whole time we're doing this, we wanna keep the shoulders directly on top of the hips. So what you'll do is wind yourself towards me, reach those right fingertips over to your screen and you'll start to feel the arch of the right foot kind of meeting the ground a little more. Maybe the arch of the left foot pops off the ground as you twist. And just go to your end point there, nice and slow. Once we get there, hold and breathe. And we're really actively reaching through these right fingertips here, actively pulling on the arm as you inhale. Lean your chest up a little bit. The arm will follow. We're just get, putting a little bit of extension into the spine as we rotate. Excellent job. Let's take it back down to that midpoint and then you'll slowly dive forward. Again, try and keep the shoulders right over the hips so we're not like leaning over. We're really just going for the intention of the twist and the flexion. Good, reaching towards the back of the right heel. Your head is also gazing over that left shoulder. Let's take ourselves back to that midpoint. See if you have any extra room to twist. I know I gained a couple degrees here. And then we'll slowly unwind all the way back. And let it go, we'll face the other direction. Almost done guys, nice work. This time we have our left arm out in front grabbing with the right hand over the top of that elbow joint, pulling the shoulders forward so the upper spine is rounded, 
bending through the knees and then wind yourself towards me actively reaching through the left fingertips pulling on that arm such good work we're keeping ourselves stacked shoulders above hips We'll inhale and extend through the spine, lifting the chest ever so slightly. The hand will follow you. Just a little bit here. Exhale, come back down to center, and then we'll dive forward, putting some flexion in the spine, reaching towards the back of the left heel. <sighs> Keeping those breaths, reaching through the fingertips, pulling on the arm. Again, all this tension and slow motion that we're doing is keeping our spine safe as we move. We'll take ourselves back up to that midpoint. See if you gained any more room to twist there. I know I did. And we'll wind ourselves all the way back. And relax the arms. Let's face the front. Excellent job. So we'll take that same litmus test that we did at the beginning again so we can see if it made a difference, all that movement we just did, see if our spines opened up a little bit. So keeping those knees soft, twisting side to side. Oh, that's a lot easier for me to do. I hope it is for you as well. Good stuff. We'll pause there, doing our side to side, a little raggedy and taking the hips with us there. So good. And let that go. We'll come into our extension and flexing the spine as we fall forward. Arms bring us back up to standing. Nice and gentle. Good. We'll take one more there. Excellent. Nice job, everyone. So that little spinal matrix is something I learned from my mentor, Michael Risk, who is the creator of the Whole Person Project. If you guys know me, you know that's something I've been involved in for a little while now. If you're interested, you can check out the website, thewholepersonproject.me, I believe it is. So I will uh, put that in the description of the video for you as well. And if you are able to donate, my Venmo information is also in the description of the video. Please like, share, subscribe, comment, and keep on coming back. Thank you so much, everyone. I'll see you next week. Namaste.